Okay, we're getting ready to go out for our rides today, our ride, uh, my wife and I. We'll, we'll do the 15 miles almost certainly today. Very, very nice day outside. I'm riding with a little bit of fear and trepidation, kind of my bike. Uh, uh, it's got 30 miles on it now since I had it in the shop. And first fi 15 mile ride, uh, it shifted. I could tell it wasn't right. I mean, it was good, but it wasn't right. It wasn't perfect. And then uh, yesterday's ride, it uh, um, was very much less than that, uh, shifting down. Um, it had to f kind of fiddle with the, the shifting lever to, to get it to shift down. And even then, sometimes it, the more I rode, the more it, the worse it got. And so we'll just see how it does today. Uh, almost certainly I'll be taking it back today. I'm supposed to be getting that front wheel anyway, and so I'll take it back in and, uh, and then see what happens from there. But it looks like a nice day for a ride. Okay, so I finished my ride for today, about 19 miles. My wife and I rode together about 15 miles and then she split off, went to the house and then I went ahead and uh, finished a little bit more, rode the 38th Street Loop as I call it and uh, so did that uh, today. Um, all right, so the creaking sounds on the bike. I'm at this point pretty sure it isn't that cable that I thought it was the other day. I tweaked, the, messed with that a little bit. Um, and then from uh, today's ride, yesterday's ride a little bit, and then today's ride, I got to thinking, um, I've got a new saddle on here uh, that I had to put on, or I didn't have to, but after I got in the, in the crash, I put a new saddle on it, and the sound probably happened about that same time. So I did a little bit of experimenting today, and I can duplicate the, sign, the sound without, without uh, spinning, by just kind of bouncing up and down on the seat. And I can eliminate the sound by spinning hard and standing up. So that makes it sound to me like it has to do with the seat, the post, the seat, the, the rail, something in that area. Uh, anyway, um, shifting. So on the stand yesterday, shifting it, it, it does not shift well down very well at all on the stand. I had a little bit easier time shifting riding it, and I think it's because of how my I, I'm able to get a firmer grip on the on the shifter itself, uh, so that I'm able to shift it better. It doesn't have a going up. There is a there is a positive click you know, as you as you pull on the lever, click 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 for each shift. Going down, um, that click is a little bit harder to to get, and uh, you have to kind of fiddle with the. The lever a little bit to get that click and uh, so I think uh, the the shifter still isn't working too well what I did almost every time when I wanted to shift down today and I'd shift two or three down and then I shift back up one or two and uh, to get into whatever gear it was I was supposed to be in again that is it's rideable but it really isn't I understand acceptable I just don't know that I'll be able to get uh, any satisfaction at the shop 